sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. All right, Fuzz Pie Guy here. I'm going to show you how to set up the uh, FlightAware uh, graphs for your uh, Raspberry Pi ADS-B setup. Now, we're going to be setting up Docker and whatnot to run the uh, Grand Fauna, Grand Fana, uh, graphs, however you want to pronounce it. So, I'll throw a link in the description to my website for these commands here, but we're going to do an update to make sure we have uh, Git installed. Then we'll uh, download the, uh, the software that we need. So, let's make sure we have this installed. So, we can download it. Then CD into that guy. So if we do an LS, as you can see, we need to run the install command. So we'll do a sudo period dot forward slash install. Then we'll let this run <coughs> for a while. And uh, now I'm running this, installing this on a Pi 4, so it shouldn't take too, too long. But we'll be right back. Well, one thing we can do, actually, why that's doing that, let's just go ahead, log into it. And while that's doing that, we can CD back into it. Like I said, we do it in LS. We need to edit the uh, following file. <clears throat> and we need to add the IP address for the Raspberry Pi. So whatever yours may be. We'll just add that in there. We can let everything else alone. Now, you can update the password and username if you want. But uh, that, by default, it's admin and uh, FlightAware for the password. But we can change that. But we'll do a control X, Y, and enter if you're using Nano. So, we can close that guy back out since uh, it's running here. But... Uh, we can make that change before we run the install. But anyway, I want to pause this and be back when it's done. All right, so now that that's done, we can clear that guy. <clears throat> and now what we need to do is type in the uh, docker compose up-d. And we'll let this run. Now, let's take a little bit, depending on the uh, <clears throat> what Pi you're using. But obviously, like I said, I'm using the Pi 4, so it shouldn't take too long. And also with your internet connection. So, as you can see, it's downloading a lot faster than the uh, Pi 3 that we installed this on. But I'll be right back. All right, so as you can see, it's still extracting and finishing up here. And as you can see, it's uh, downloading and setting up some more stuff. And it's doing the same thing here. And you can see what it's doing here. So now we're getting that information. And now it's starting to create. And now we should be good. So if we get this here, we should be pretty much able to use this. So now if we go to the IP address of the Pi and use port 3000 
and just go to it. We're going to use the uh, admin, then obviously the password, which is FlightAware. Login. And as you can see, there's nothing showing here. So what we need to do is add the uh, dashboard. We'll go to manage. Here it is. <clears> then <throat> we can go up here and click on the zoom there to get rid of the little font there that was in the back and as you can see it's not showing nothing right now because i'm i don't have pi aware set up on this pi but uh it would show your uh total aircraft and with with uh positions your range messages signal strength and so on then down here you'll have some graphs so then you can uh, change the uh, refresh, change some settings here. So hopefully this kind of helps out to get this installed. And if you want to bring down the, uh, the docker from running, we can do sudo docker compose down <clears throat> all right so there we go then if we need to bring it back up we can just replace the down with up I needed to add the uh, dash D back on there to bring it back up. But as we can see here, we are back up and going. So, because when you do bring it down, if we replace that with down, It will not work. So, all right. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this helps out. Like I said, I'll throw a link in the description to my website for this. And uh, stay tuned for another one.